Good morning, folks. China's historic manned space station docking kicked off well yesterday. Sending their first woman to space is an equally appealing social leap forward, especially in that country. While Carlotta pounds Mexico, a much worse storm is brewing in Southeast Asia, and although this Category 4 typhoon is supposed to weaken, the low is very well defined, contained, and headed straight for Tokyo. We had two six-pointers last night. They weren't major quakes, but big enough to be global ringers here on the list. In addition to sending their L waves across the planet, these quakes represent the first six-pointers since the arrival of the punctual little magnetometer anomaly. Again, at 1400 UTC, the multi-line frequencies appear and each day their ascension appears to go just a little bit higher. An avalanche killed four people on Mount McKinley yesterday. Blue-green algae has appeared in New York. That's a nice little compliment to Massachusetts beaches being closed due to bacteria. And Mount Popo down Mexico way is waking up again. You can see again we have larger blue circles here on the cosmic ray plot indicating a surplus of such energies. Luckily these events are short-lived. That is a mid-sized geomagnetic storm folks and unless you are brand new here you know this active region is to blame. She pre-gamed the party a bit too hard and has been causing quite a fuss, multiple flares and coronal mass ejections and boy did they hit last night. The top plot is the solar wind speed and it is moderately high but just below it the density of the main CME impact was at least 5 times greater than the average CME. If the GOES magnetometer looks odd, that's because they had to add two extra panels to fit the data in. We don't usually get spikes like this. We even had a brief solar radiation storm upon an impact, luckily that subsided quickly. Ovation Prime began showing mild pulses of charged particle bombardment, slowly building as the final CME snapped across our magnetic shields. Something new here, this is the current quiet D region absorption effect. Now usually this is boring. Two days ago I got a little excited during elevated density counts here, but last night a hole opened up in our magnetosphere, at least one, and screw the F layers and E layer, the D layer around the polar region was lit up like crazy. More bad news, the earth footprint is right on top of that sunspot. Any more flares will have an increased effect. And speaking of these sunspots, for those who don't know, the blue and green is positive, the yellow and red is negative, the intensities are actually switched for the diagrams, but the polarity is the same. So with that in mind, can you see the delta spot here? We have both red and blue very, very close to each other. Looking on the left, they're within that same orange penumbra, housing the black umbras uh, within. That poses our solar flare risk. And there's more. This dark plasma filament will become unstable at the end of this clip. It's happening right now and it will hit Earth in three days. The moon is between Jupiter and Venus right now, two days from a new moon. Along with the space weather, let's be on the lookout for larger quakes. Be safe, everyone.